اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی As we know, this is the month, like uh, according to um, lunar uh, month, uh, we have uh, gone through uh, like uh, which were sacred. But this month is not sacred. And but even though it's not a sacred month, uh, but many things, this month is called suffer and many misconceptions are there. And those are the if. and suffer and superstitions suffer is the second month of the lunar calendar like we look the uh, uh, like uh, moon sighting and accordingly the moon uh, lunar calendar will be there but you know we have seen solar and lunar calendar both of them have 12 <coughs> months only even though they call different names whether you call it january or you call it muharram suffer but all has 12 months only but there is a uh, you know change in the days because in lunar it will be 29 or 30 sure. but there it will change like 30 31 and sometimes in feb it's 28 so that's how there are many misconceptions prevalent among the people regarding this month on one hand bad legs and omens people think that it's not correct but people think that way uh, bad luck and omens have been associated with this month This is the thing going on. If you go Indo Park, you know more over there. And on the other hand, self-made solution for such things have been proposed as well, such as not holding marriages in this month. People don't even do marriages in this month, even though in overseas, whether you are in U.S., Canada, or U.K., still people have that misconceptions. because you know we came from there and we migrated but our heart should get migrated do the hijra towards quran and sunna uh, so what they do boiling chickpeas distributing them they they boil chickpeas and uh, distribute them that's the trend going on from longer time in indo pak especially asian countries and distributing them so that the bad omens are passed on to others why they are doing because you know that bad omen passed to others so the, the, it's like you know you are uh, taking out the bad stuff and putting in the uh, others home i was thinking it's like uh, taking out the trash and putting in the others home that's kind of thing and uh, making uh, 365 balls of flour and throwing them in the water they they uh, put in the water and they think that bad luck will go off and look at the pollution how much they are creating and also eating flour is for eating like you know which we make roti and uh, chapati with, uh, which we call and they are throwing in the water that's like a, a misuse of the food and the taam food we can't waste food yeah. and those who waste food they are extravagant they are musrifin mm-hmm. allah don't like musrifin so here we uh, see two things they are distributing like making chickpeas and they are avoiding bad luck they think that way it's not according to quran and sunna and also making the uh, balls and uh, distributing it and not only that omens are driven away and provision is increased reciting suratul muzammil and they recite suratul muzammil 313 times and uh, considering this month to be hard for the dead and considering 13 of this month referred to as a Tera Tezi, Tera Tezi, they call it in Urdu, Tera Tezi, Tera means 13. And 13 of this month, they not only they are making 313 uh, balls and distributing, and uh, they are 313 times, they are reciting Surat Al-Muzammil and thinking that bad luck will go off. That's what they are doing from longer time. And this is all not, yes, it's innovation, Bida. complete innovation why i am saying this because many of our sisters and brothers they are not aware of this they are ignorant there there are two ways like you know people are either ignorant or they don't want to learn like you know they close the door and they say oh our ancestors our forefathers did it so we are doing doing it they don't have any dalil or anything which is authentic according to quran and sunna when we ask any narration you have no 
but now till now i'm just reading what the people are doing i'm not reading any narration or any authentic you know if it's so i might have told you oh this is the thing you know all such uh, superstitions and belief have no basis in islam whatsoever how can any day or month be unlucky or be a potent of bad omen when uh, uh, in fact months and years are formed by the alteration of day and night allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made day and night as a sign and to help us make the calendar as allah says you know and we have appointed night and the day as two signs then we have obliterated the sign of the night with the darkness while we have made the sign of the day illuminating day you may seek bounty from your lord and you may know the number of the years and reckoning this is in surah number 17 and ayah number 12 this is in surah al isra years and reckoning and we have explained everything in detail with the full explanation so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also told as the purpose of different stages of the moon you know how the moon will be bigger smaller and finally uh, and it help us to mark the beginning and the end of the month and allah azwajal has also told us that there are 12 months he says this in uh, this is in surah al baqara ayah number 189 then ask you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the new moon say these are the signs to mark fixed periods of time for mankind and for the pilgrimage we know when they ask about the new moon and uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam clear that thing verily and also in surah at-tauba that is ayah number 36 we did this ayah when we did the uh, regarding muharram and in the sacred month so verily the number of months with allah is 12 that time also i explained uh, this uh, ayah i referred many times and again i am referring because this is very clear cut ayah which says only 12 months are there 12 months with allah in a year so was it ordained by allah on the day when he created heavens and the earth and uh, it is this revolution of day and night that make up weeks and months and years which constitutes time regarding which prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah azwajal was said the son of adam hurts me for the abuses time can we abuse time no we cannot abuse time though i am time allah is saying i am time in my hands are all things and i cause the revolution of day and night isn't it inna mi fi khalqi samawati and we read those ayat at the time of tahajjud last ayat of surah al ali imran alternation of the day and night these are the signs of allah and night will be dark and day will be bright and also in some of the ayat allah says taskunu uh, for the night taskunu and naum and surah uh, al-naba we see for um, resting naumakum uh, subata and then you know rest peace have your sleep and day is for brightening and go and do your work so we are given the purpose so here in this bukhari this is the the authentic narration caused the revolution of day and night so allah never like you know you are cursing particular day or cursing particular night or particular month it's not allowed because this is the authentic narration it clearly says you can't do that first we discuss what the misconceptions are but now we see uh, the ayahs of the quran and the uh, hadith so that our clear cut you know mind should be there i know we don't believe it but somebody ask you then you you can clear that because we are ahlul quran we all are student of quran we are gaining knowledge and we will gain knowledge till the end of our life till we die till we leave this world we will be ahlul quran so it is clear that day and nights is from allah and considering any time our day month of year to be unlucky is great misconception and a sin it's a sin like you know and historical uh, perspective i will tell the arabs used to hold 3 months of zikhad zilhaj and muharram as sacred even they used to uh, like observe that sacred thing they did not indulge in war or crime during this months they used to wait for this months to be over so that they can be free from this restrictions and indulge in robbery they observed these three months then they started robbery 
theft, war. Therefore, as soon as the Muharram used to be over and suffer begins, they would leave their houses vacant with the intent of crime. That's what they used to do. This is the historical point of view. And they do crime, theft, robbery and war. So from that perspective, we are continuing that uh, misconceptions. Thus the idiom suffer al-makan meaning empty houses. Suffer al-makan and meaning empty houses become famous. The word safarun or sifrun means to become vacant. Safrun or sifrun. Like the saying goes in Arabic, sifrun minal mata, which means the house were vacated. From uh, its uh, furniture, things, etc. And this is uh, Azbe Min Mansur. And the famous Hadith scholar and historian uh, was written in famous book, Al Mashur Fi Asma. And there it says that this was the reason for naming of this month as Safar when the Arabs saw the during this month many crimes were committed as i mentioned they started doing crimes people killed and houses emptied they associated bad omens and ill fate with this month instead of looking at their own evil deeds because doing this they are heading towards all the evil deeds and wrongdoings whereas allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us that every person is responsible for his own omen and fate we all are and in Surah Al-Isra we learn that every person has the shagun, that locket thing in your, uh, it's like a, a necklace and it's tied in your necklace in the uh, near the throat and luck, bad luck, everything Allah has given us. We believe uh, in Amantu Billahi wa Malaikati, sharrihi wa qairihi, whether shar or qair is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can't decide it. And nobody can say that. And not only that, we learn uh, from Surah Al-Isra that they used to, um, you know, fly a bird. If it goes in right, they do it. If, if it goes in left, they don't do it. And for every person, we have imposed his fate upon his neck and we will produce for him on the day of resurrection a record which will uh, encounter spread open. That is Surah Al-Isra uh, number 13. Like, you know, that record will be wide open, it says. So every person has his own fate. It is commonly believed that bad omens come from external sources, which is why man tends to blame either some of the other person this we're going to discuss. Other person or animal or an object, a day, month, number, whereas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through these ayahs has made it very clear, like you know what I mentioned in Surah Al-Isra. Every man's omen and bad luck is due to his own misdeeds and wrongdoings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further says in the Quran, what comes to you of good is from Allah. What, but what comes to you of evil, O man, is from yourself. This is in Surah number 4, Ayah number 79. So, when, when I was talking about Surah Al-Isra, Allah has clearly mentioned good luck, bad luck, it's there. So, we can't blame anyone. And now this uh, uh, Ayah clears more when Surah number 4, Ayah number 79. So, blaming people. This is the thing we have. You know, if somebody has the mishap in their life, Especially women, she got married and they have fight or she got married, she don't have children, something is lacking in their life and literally, believe me, uh, people, they completely abandon you, they don't say with your mouth, they don't have that must, uh, that, that must uh, uh, courage, they don't have that, but you know, they behave that, they completely, you know, abandon it uh, they don't save in the words uh, and they avoid in such a manner that is very hurtful that really hurts you like uh, somebody smack you you will forget but this kind of behavior you cannot forget believe me and um, i have seen from very like you know very closely i have seen these things people they are saying no we don't believe in such kind of things when it comes at the time of marriages, they completely avoid those people and they call only those people, those who are happy in their life, even though they believe in shirk, even though their aqidah is incorrect, even though they all believe in wrong concepts, still they call them because they think that is the good luck 
and the others they, they are the bad luck we have seen in suratul isra good luck bad luck we can't blame it's you know allah decides but this is how the people are behaving not only that particular time particular day and you know in urdu they call it manhus that's not the way how can you say because allah loves all his slaves and we are slave of allah when some sometimes when some hatred comes into your mind for a time being because we are human being yeah. then just think about it oh this is the slave of allah allah loves this person so how can i hate that moment just avoid auzu billahi minash shaitan rajim la haul wala quwata no i can't hate such person what they are doing hate that that's thing the that's the, the action, thing not the yeah mm-hmm. so if you have anything to say any particular incident you, you are most welcome because this is the thing our society is going through so i including myself i have seen this but i never appreciate that and i never publicize that because if i publicize it they feel more happy because they think oh now they are acknowledging it don't you understand like you know they are doing silently so we are leaving that path silently and we are behaving as a momina not as a mushrika or you know sometimes it happens such things that you leave that place that is better for you sometimes you feel like you know your heart will burst out so don't sit there or don't entertain just tell them okay sister we'll leave inshallah see you that's it you don't have to say it and you know and uh, some of people they said some people they behave this way they you know actually go through and they fell sick after that definitely because it it will yeah. affect your life it will affect your health the whole scenario will go on for days and days so don't go through all that torture just avoid them tell them in a pleasing manner even though they are doing very evilness and leave on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah i witness you you are watching you know this thing and you are the judge and hasbi allah wa naim al wakil naim al maula naim al nasir leave that place because we are human beings we can't go through that and superstition is shirk a man leaves his house on the way a black cat crosses his path <laughs> he thinks this is a bad omen therefore return back home it happens believe me still people does that they think because of that cat and i remember like uh, back home when crow started yeah. saying something and you know they say oh some guest will come <laughs> isn't it the other day i was like talking to somebody and that crow was started uh, talking and i said oh see and then she said you remember in the like you know when we were back home we used to think that thing <laughs> i said we we never thought that like you know our like uh, non muslim friends they used to say so many times that it affect us because we were around the hinduism so much so even we use that vocabulary you know Uh, sometimes we uh, we learn so much quran still we use those like uh, uh, in urdu they say jahalat, jahalat. Yeah, so I that jahalat yeah, words we use yeah yeah that's what they say yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and also na blinking of an eye many people say oh my eye is blinking something on a bad bad thing happen so leave it is it's a you know Pardak kind of sickness something yeah yeah i know even like you know yeah yes therefore written back home though this seems to be such a minor act however in reality it it really means that he thinks that black cat has the power and authority to change the man's fate this is shit because it means that the other than allah that is the main thing other than allah the cat also has control and authority over a man's life no nauz billah astaghfirullah other common superstitious belief uh, like prevalent in our society are seeing someone's dislike in the morning means the whole day will be full of bad luck you know somebody is there and you think you know you hate that person and uh, if you saw that person first thing in the morning and you think no my day will be very bad so this this reminds some people they don't open their eyes until unless they come and uh, see their own children 
they see their own children first thing in the morning and they think that is a good luck that is also not right whether you think good luck or bad luck either way it's not appreciated luck only allah decides we we can't decide anything and if one shoes come on the top of the other it means a journey will be undertaken taking omen from colors such as wearing black means illness will strike or not wearing black clothes because black is the color of the cover of kaaba not wearing green color shoes due to respect being uh, like you know color of dome of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mosque holding such belief not only led man to make halal things haram on himself but led him to associate fate and destiny destiny with these things and which is not only a great misguidance but a great sin that is shirk we are whatever the thing which is not allowed in islam and our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he taught everything even how to use washroom this is a small thing and you know uh, people of book they say oh your beloved prophet taught this also going to the washroom uh, even going near to your like how the husband and wife relationship should should be and what should be recited before going to uh, you know wife yes everything has been taught and the women of uh, ansar they come and learn quran and they were so much interested and aisha radiyallahu anha she taught so much hadith even sahaba men they used to come and ask her so from this we learn like how muallima she was she was teaching the quran and hadith and from this we get the uh, authenticity and we as a woman can learn and the teach quran but there is some boundaries we have to take care of regarding the na mahram and if more people are there then it's okay like you know everybody is there in your class but one person male and female can't these are the things we have to take because no other than allah has the power and control over man's fate and all the things from which good or bad are derived are nothing but the creation you know uh, don't say some somebody is bad or good or good luck bad luck nothing uh, any time or anything prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said taking omen is shirk taking omen is shirk he said it three times three times he said because if something is important he used to repeat three times if we are doing with our children or family that's okay sometimes they say oh thousand million times you are repeating because if we repeat three times they say oh million times i heard it that's what they say but that's the sunna every one of us has superstition but allah removes it by the trust in him this is sunan abi daud he also said uh, said a person who delivered bad luck from something and refrained from doing what he has intent to do he has committed shirk you know whatever you want to do just do it don't think oh this is a bad luck good luck you know some people they are very shaky about it the companions asked him what would be its explanation prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said O oh Allah there is no potent other than uh, you you no goodness other than your goodness and none other to worship other than um, you this is in musnad ahmad being muslim we should have full faith and trust in allah and believe from our heart that is only allah who has power over us the arabs used to hold 3 months zikhada zilhajja and muharram as sacred they did not indulge in war or crime during this months they used to wait for this months to over so that they started all this misconception and we have seen those things before so here the same uh, thing just want to make sure these are all uh, you know shirk and it's our innovation there is uh, nothing related to quran and sunna we have seen the authentic hadith and the narration in which it's never said you know you have to do certain kind of things but when we see uh, other uh, months other lu- lunar months like we have seen in uh, zilhaj like oh, how the uh, month of the arafa uh, day of the arafa 9th how much like you know people are uh, uh, relief from the hell fire that's the day and we make lot of dua even uh, we respect the day arafa when makka and madina is observing in the jeddah and also we observe when our ninth is there because we have our heart is attached to makka and madina we think oh this is the day arafa is there and um, and ninth we observe fasting 
and only the people who went for hajj they don't and we learn from uh, other months also uh, in month of ramadan of course uh, rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam fast all the month of ramadan because it's a fard after that he said as soon as the month is over then the month of shawwal and he said if you continue six days that will be okay for the whole of the year so these are the authentic narration but as when we compare this with the safar month of the safar there is no such thing whether fasting or whether believing in bad omen or any other thing so we should stop thinking about it if somebody is saying that just guide them in a nice manner in a kind manner because don't be harsh on them because they are observing those things from longer time so if they are observing from longer time it will take time to remove it have you ever seen uh, if some spot is very dirty and we are trying to clean it no matter how much spray we put in but still it won't go off the same thing with the people their stubbornness is so much because they hard don't allow they think oh they forefathers did wrong it means they will go to hell fire because they come to the conclusion and they think no i don't want to think that they were wrong we all are human being only prophets they were guided with allah subhanahu wa taala and whenever they de- did anything wrong i don't say mistake because they are innocent they they were prophets we can't say such kind of words for them if anything goes wrong they they were corrected by allah subhanahu wa taala and they were guided but we are human being khuliqa al insana da'ifa so we can do mistakes and we are capable of doing mistakes and we are bashar so bashar can do mistake but people think if you are learning quran you can't do mistake still you can do mistake because you are a normal human being and uswe hasna is prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are not uswe hasna we are a just a person just learning and teaching quran so here this is the topic i want to share and then we'll start 